Hello, my name is Dave, and welcome to the Album Review Channel, where I focus on progressive rock and other rock classic albums, the greatest genre of music, in my opinion. So, in this video, I'm looking at the final progressive rock album that has shaped a generation. Now, there are some earlier episodes, and these have been added to a playlist, and there'll be a link on screen at the end. So finally, I can't forget Rush and their 1981 album, Moving Pictures. Now, while Rush had started out as more of a hard rock band, by the time they reached this album, they'd fully embraced the prog rock ethos of in intricate compositions and deep, thought-provoking lyrical themes. Now, this album represents a, a perfect fusion of their earlier, heavier sound with the complexity and ambition of progressive rock. So tracks like Tom Sawyer and the instrumental YYZ became massive hits, showcasing the band's incredible musicianship. Neil Peart's philosophical lyrics in, say, Tom Sawyer, these explore the themes of individuality and rebellion, while YYZ highlights the band's technical prowess with its complex time signatures and tight, precise instrumentation. Now, it was such a major turning point, not just for Rush, but really for the whole entire prog rock genre. It proved that progressive rock could still thrive in the 80s, even as the musical landscape was shifting towards punk, new wave and other emerging styles. So, unlike the lengthy, sprawling tracks of earlier prog albums, moving pictures streamlined the genre's more complex elements into shorter tighter and perhaps more radio-friendly songs without sacrificing the, the technical brilliance and intricacy that fans had come to love. Now, this balance between accessibility on one hand and musicianship on the other made the album a huge success and helped to keep progressive rock relevant during a time when many other pro bands were fading from the spotlight. It remains one of Rush's most celebrated works and a defining moment in the evolution of prog rock. Now, I hope you've enjoyed these videos looking at the five albums considered to have shaped a generation to rediscover prog rock classical albums. Join me next time as I continue to look at my love of progressive rock and avoid missing out on any new videos by clicking the subscribe button and notification bell and this means you'll be alerted when a new video is released. So until then, thanks for watching this one and indeed the series, and I'll see you all later. Bye for now.